since you left me I've been unable to move frozen and flaccid I got the lock in blue I just lay in bed with no connection to my head Wishing I could be somewhere else instead Hello and welcome to SciOpen Research Group. We are the first fully functional Gorilla Biotech in existence. We do the gritty work that pharmaceutical companies deem unprofitable. That is, we take novel molecules off the laboratory shelf and do the early investigation necessary to advance those molecules into human treatment for severe diseases. Because we are gorillas, we the move quickly yet effectively, doing quality scientific research for a fraction of the cost a large institution incurs. Our directors are all volunteers and we have a decentralized infrastructure with very little overhead, which means over 95 cents of every dollar goes directly to fund our research programs. Money is why I am talking to you right now. But first let me tell you more about what SciOpen Research Group is all about. Two years ago, our founder, Eric Velour, identified a new molecule developed by a researcher at the Salk Institute for Biomedical Research. The researcher, Dr. David Schubert, was developing this as a treatment for Alzheimer's. The initial animal results were impressive, and upon reading the study, Eric realized that the effects the molecule have on the brain were relevant to a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALIS, commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Unfortunately, because its mechanism of action isn't fully understood, no pharmaceutical company wanted to take it on. The molecule was named J147 and is a derivative of a chemical in the spice turmeric. The chemical is called curcumin. Curcumin has numerous beneficial qualities such as being a powerful anti-inflammatory, which makes it of interest in treating ALS. Unfortunately, one would have to eat many pounds of turmeric to get a therapeutic dose of curcumin. J147 has the same therapeutic qualities as curcumin but at over 100 times the potency. Instead of me telling you, let's hear from Dr. Schubert's lab about this molecule which they developed. We believe that, that J147 really does have the potential to be an Alzheimer's drug. A year and a half ago, uh, we published this, our first study with J147, which showed that in a preventative style Alzheimer's model, that it was able to improve memory. So for this current study, we decided to try and more closely mimic what happens in the clinical setting with, with real Alzheimer's patients. So when they are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, they already have severe, maybe even a very advanced pathology. We found that even at this really late stage in the disease, J147 was able to reverse those severe memory problems. One of the reasons that drugs that have showed so much promise haven't translated to successful drugs in clinical trials is because they're tested, they're screened uh, preventative strategy rather than therapeutic. And that's not what happens in humans. They already have pathology sometimes quite advanced when they're diagnosed. So this strategy is different, it's more therapeutic. We felt that it was more clinically relevant. Another experiment that we did was to compare J147 to Aricept, which is the most widely prescribed Alzheimer's drug. Aricept, like all other drugs that are prescribed for Alzheimer's, just manages the symptoms. It doesn't do anything to the disease progression. And after a certain amount of time, it stops working. And J147 was either comparable or better than Aricept in three different memory assays. So the next step is, is clinical trials. Um, so we're preparing to do all the necessary preclinical work to file an investigational new drug application with the FDA so that we can get J147 into clinical trials as soon as possible. As you saw, J147 is broadly protective in numerous assays which recapitulate aspects of aging, the number one risk factor for Alzheimer's and for ALS. Despite this, it was impossible to get pharmaceutical companies interested in further development. So we decided to form our own non-profit to take on the early work to prove whether J147 could be useful in human disease, specifically ALS. The reason for our project is that Alzheimer's and ALS share common pathologies, including the loss of trophic support, oxidative stress, the reduction of energy metabolism and toxicity from misfolded proteins. 
The neurotrophic activities of J147 are associated with an increase in levels of neural growth factor and brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Other benefits include the enhancement of synaptic protein preservation, the reduction of markers for oxidative stress and inflammation, and the reduction of heat shock proteins. These pleiotrophic effects of a single molecule suggest that J147 has potential for the treatment not only of Alzheimer's, but, because it acts on common pathologies, also in ALS. It is this promise which we are testing first at Cyopen Research Group. Cyopen has arranged to test J147 in a mouse disease model of ALS. Orale, jefe. You better fix us. But to finish the project and do the right science, we need your help. We applied for, and were granted, Free Mice from Prize for Life, an organization which creates prize-based incentive for innovative research into treatments for ALS. They maintain their own colony of research mice to assist projects approved by their scientific review board. We have the actual experiment financed, but in order to do microscopic examination of tissues such as brain and spinal cords, we need help. We need to raise at least $30,000 to finance all the examinations necessary to understand what effect J147 has inside the mice. SciOpen Research Group is a non-profit organization under IRS Code 501c3. All donations are tax deductible. Not only that, but we have a list of wonderful perks for various donation levels. You can help a good cause, get a tax deduction, and receive a wonderful gift for your donation. Thank you all for your time, and for your support. Together, we can find a cure for ALS. I got the locked in, the locked in blues. I got the locked in, the locked in blues. I got the locked in, the locked in blues. I got the locked in.